Hey, tonight's shave. I really feel like going old school. This is a Hazel Atlas mug. Apparently that has some historical value. Um, it's not just an ordinary mug. Um, I got it as part of a, a little uh, sample lot of uh, things. It has a little uh, logo on the bottom that can kind of help you identify it. Uh, I don't know how old it is or anything else about it, but that is what it is. Um, it's the perfect size to hold a, uh, and you can actually see some of these on eBay. Um, it's perfect size to hold a Puck of Williams mug soap. Um, I like those old soaps. I have put, um, and, and because it's a good size, there's not a lot of gap uh, around the, the soap, and that's nice. There's less places for the good lather to go. Um, and I put a uh, about a centimeter of water on top of the uh, puck. It is lukewarm or cool water, just straight out of the tap. <clears throat> One guy on YouTube says to use warm or uh, kind of hot water, and that probably does is going to do better. But I'm not really about waiting for that water to show up. And so I'm going to try see what happens. Right now, it's been soaking for about seven minutes. By the time I start shaving, it'll probably be 10, and that was what was recommended before. Um, and so, um, using this Williams mug, trying to find a good uh, method. So let's see what this, how this method works. Um, using information from other, uh, other shavers, and we'll see how it works. Um, the uh, two key words... Um, some people think that it's just too hard to dial in a good lather. Um, after doing some research, two keywords came uh, to be uh, forefront in how to change your technique just a little bit to, to get a good lather because it is super slick. Okay, but that, and that's not debatable. Uh, even people who think it's junk admit that it is very slick. Um, but what you want is that kind of creaminess and thick lather uh, that provides you with a little bit of cushion as well, especially on that first pass. Um, and so the two key words are soak and then chuck. And those are my terms. Uh, what I'm choosing to use, I I'm not borrowing those from anybody else, really. Um, uh, and so we're doing the first one right now for, you know, roughly 10 minutes. Just have it soaking. And we'll see if room temperature water will do the trick. Also, uh, for a couple minutes now, I've had my bore brush. This is a Samoga Owners Club Cherry Handle. This is a bore brush. It's uh, got maybe 10 uses in it, so it's pretty young. But it is really coming along nicely and very quickly. I can pretty much use it normal by now. It, obviously, it doesn't have display and the openness as much as it will after several months, but still very good right now. So, in keeping everything else is old school. The mug, the soap. This is the new version, uh, the new iteration of the Williams Mug Soap. If you buy one of the older ones, it's got more... Uh, something in it to make it more creamy and it's by nature uh, more creamy and it was just an amazing lather and that was the first one i tried actually was a, a vintage version and it, i was amazed it was terrific the new one apparently doesn't have quite as much creaminess and, and the thickness to it but let's see what happens uh, but going old school this is a fat boy and what is he e f i think F is the year. I don't have it memorized as to which one. Maybe 50s, uh, late 50s, something like that. I don't know. It has a Gillette Nasset in it that's been used once already. I'm going to use it at a setting of uh, 5. Lately, I've been shaving it a little bit less just because I'm going for comfort lately. Um, but since one of the goals is this Williams mug... Um, get that creaminess, I wanted to choose a little bit more aggressive setting than usual um, because then I want to, it might expose some weaknesses in the lather if, if there are, uh, if any come. And uh, there are a lot of people who don't like this soap. I've got a Dollar Tree soup bowl that will be my lather bowl. Um, and and that's, all the, that's all the gear. I'm going to get my face wet.
it is kind of cool water. I guess the air, it's in the wall, walls of the house and so the AC is cooling it down because we are kind of in the summer right now. All right, so let us pour off the water. We're looking at about an 11 minute soak in the uh, kind of cool water. Just gonna pour it off. And this is a brand new puck of Williams right in there. I'm gonna pull the bore out. I'm gonna sling out all the water. Um, and let's just see, see what happens. Uh, 47 is about, let's just time our load here. Let's just, let me just load for a minute and see what happens. Now, if you come into the soap with uh, some water on your brush, which I have not, then you um, probably will start to see some light, airy, foamy, uh, not foamy, bubbly lather pop up right away. And that is not what you want to shave with. And that is that second keyword, chuck. If you have some of that lather, just pour it, put it in the sink and don't use it. Now maybe I'll do some experimentation later where I put that light stuff in the shaving bowl and kind of use it like water almost. Okay, there we go. That's a minute load. Let's just see what happens. I mean, it looks, looks pretty good. Who knows? I don't know if this is going to be a fail video or a success video. You know what? Let's, um, let's do this. I would rather err on the side of too much. So what I'm going to do is put in a quarter teaspoon of water. I'm going to load for 30 more seconds. We started at 11 right there, so 41. And let's see, do I just want to kind of overcompensate for this first video because then I can start maybe dialing it in if I uh, land at a, a spot that's too generous or whatever. So a minute and 30 second load with a little bit of, and that's 30 seconds, um, with a little bit of water, uh, quarter, uh, yeah, quarter of a teaspoon of water added. And there we go. Now we'll go to the lather bowl. I am a bowl latherer, usually. Who knows, one of these years I may switch. It does have that citronella candle smell. It's looking good. Look at that paste. I'm gonna let it get settled in here. And then I'll start adding water. By maybe the half, uh, half teaspoon amount at a time. Now, I add, uh, some soaps do require that you add water slowly. Don't know if this is gonna be one of them or not. If I find this technique works well, then I might start with a shortcut of, let's see how quickly I can add water so that it's, so that I spend less time lathering. Now, I, I didn't get the airy stuff because I didn't load with a lot of water. But look, there is some dense lather being generated right now. Um, I don't really mind the citronella smell. I could definitely see how you might. To me, I kind of associate it just with old soapy and it, it kind of feels vintage to me. So yeah, look at that. All right.
So I didn't have to do the uh, chuck keyword because I never got that airy early stage airy lather. So just I just soaked the puck um, and started with a uh, damp brush, not wet by any means. And I am getting some dense stuff and it is getting bigger. So some variables I could change if I end up with a ton of soap, just load for less time. Uh, I could um, go ahead and put the quarter teaspoon of water in there from the beginning instead of kind of doing the dry load. So I mean, this is not a weird technique. Um, so, uh, if, if I were to post this online and someone were to come back, well, that's too complex for me. Is it really? You just soak the puck, load it kind of with a damp brush, add a little bit of water while you're loading, and, um, everything after that is kind of pretty standard. Just slowly add water. And who knows, after some experimentation, I may learn that you don't have to slowly add water. This looks like I'm going to get a ton of lather from this whole thing here. Um, so, I wonder how this would translate to your face. Um, well, I mean, I ended up with a, with a brush that, you know, had nice dense lather on it. So, I would imagine just like any other face latherer, you would just, uh, put that on your face and start adding droplets of water to it. All that stuff. This is crazy. Right here. Look at all this. More in the bowl. Obviously that citronella smell is still there. You just want to get a good, good mixture. And I kind of feel like I need to add. So now we've got three teaspoons of water in with this. I'll do maybe the finger test. It's really looking good. I have the one of the first uh, times I tried it and when I was using the older puck I used more of a wet method where I did get that airy, bubbly lather at first. And yeah, I just pitched it. And then you keep loading a little bit, and what you're left with is a, a, something much more dense and usable. Look at that. A few bubbles in there. Probably not a big deal. Let's just mix it around a little bit more. Don't think I'm probably want to add any more water than that. Play it conservatively. Tons of lather here. Let's do a little finger check. Oh, it's got a little bit of cushion. Slickness is there, obviously. And it didn't really take. It didn't really take a lot of change in procedure for bowl latherers at least this looks terrific it's huge I have plenty so maybe the one minute and a half load is definitely not necessary it's honking huge look at the flexible peaks there all right let's just shave with it and see what happens If you don't like the scent, 
and they say that one puck of Williams will last you about a uh, a month. And if you may, if Barrister and Man or something lasts you three months, I don't know how much how long it lasts you. And this is quite a, quite a savings. Get my face wet. So currently, three teaspoons of water in this lather. We're working on, uh, I do, and, and what we're doing here is with hard water. So if this works, this is hard water tolerant, and pretty much anybody will be able to do this, and you soft water folks may even get something better. This feels great. It feels creamy, luxurious. This is, I think, those of you who hate Williams just never got this. Now, if you hate Williams on the scent alone, then an improvement in your lather technique is not going to help that, right? Just the way it goes, and I understand. But I just somehow associate this with old-timey clean. But look at this, just, I could have definitely kept adding water. We'll also watch to see if any of it dissipates. It's tremendous. Feels great. Man. No glycerin added. Nothing like that. Williams only with hard water. All right. setting of five on the aggression level with the old fat boy oh this nasset cuts so good oh man I barely have any blade feel holy cow this is crazy slick I've got so much glide I have so much glide Rinses easily from the razor. This is crazy good. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bump it up to a seven. And a seven is about where I about where I stop usually. A little more blade feel, but still super. Comfortable. Wow. That's crazy. All right, a little half rinse. I have oily skin, and so a lot of soaps out there, even big names, will. Uh, not feel very slick when I do my first rinse. Not so with this guy. Felt very, very slick. Left a little bit of water on my face just to see what happens with the lather. I didn't really even put more lather on my brush from the bowl. And look at that. It's great. Feels great. Thick. Tons of lather going to be left in the bowl. We're still on a seven. Hmm. Nice sharp blade. Now the poche feel I've heard is people don't like it very much. A little drying perhaps. 
So maybe I'll, I'll try to remember to not put on a product right after. Maybe do some cleanup while my face is untreated. Obviously that, you know, I think that's something that if it's, um, that's not a technique issue. That's just a nature, uh, an attribute of the soap. And again, this feels like I'm shaving at a, a four level. It's protecting my face really well. Lots of glide. Lots of going kind of back to old areas and be still being protected. Alright, gonna rinse. So we're about to put on the third pass. Um, I haven't stirred this bowl up or anything. There's no dissipation of lather, anything like that. So if, um, if that's what has happened with you in the past, I'm going to guess it's probably because um, you just you just didn't mix it thick enough. You um, accepted that thin stuff maybe because you brought water into it too quickly. As you can see my face is, you may have been able to see my face dripping. I'm definitely applying this to a moist face and it is still Nice. I can, I mean, look at that. Well, I'm glad I stumbled upon a good method kind of early on. Of course, your mileage may vary, you know, in a sense. I mean, the chemical properties of the soap are objective, and it's not a your mileage may vary kind of scenario. Like, if you don't experience the uh, slickness, then you, um, you're doing something really wrong. Um, and if you follow kind of what I've done, you should be able to get this uh, level of uh, viscosity, this level of creaminess. All right. Feels great. Looks great. Let's go. I'm keeping it at a seven. My cheeks are already shaved, have already been shaven very well, so I just kind of do a whatever pass with it. Try to catch any loose stray guys. I'm not uh, somebody who chases down the baby butt smooth. It's in the tricky area right over here. Go slow, very light pressure. Every other part of my face seems to shave without, shave well without a problem. Let's do that uh, bear down thing and see if maybe I can kind of try that. I haven't really, well, I feel like I maybe nick myself doing that. Let's see what happens. That's the only area I went kind of nuts on right there. All right. Very gentle. Wow, looks like a great shave from here so far. Ah, no blood from what I thought might have been a nick. All right, uh, full rinse. All right, that gave me a great shave. Um, this zone right here often has uh, some length that's seen at this point after three passes. And all I'm seeing is tips. Just for grins, I am going to um, 
just kind of do a touch up, careful touch up pass. And look, still creamy, nice, dense lather. And now I've lathered for the last time. And I've got this much left. So I'm saying maybe reduce it by 30 seconds, my loading time. Just load for one minute, maybe uh, maybe 30 seconds with uh, without adding that quarter teaspoon of water. Um, and then 30 seconds with, I don't know, might be the next thing to try. Oh, yep, a little bit of redness. That's, I did see, I did feel a little bit of nick there because I was just doing something that was non-standard that I hadn't really done before wrinkled up my skin I think and sure enough one of those wrinkles got nicked so lesson learned That is a superlative shave uh, for me, and I've tried a bunch of things, and uh, that is that is terrific. So obviously the seven aggression level um, did a great job cutting with this fat boy and the nasset. I'm going to rinse. All right, there we go, all dried off. I have not added any products, not even a uh, alum block to, to quell this little weeper here. Uh, like I said, I wanted to get the post feel. Um, let's take a note. 30, 33 minutes past the hour, so that'll be our start time. Um, uh, face feels good. I do have oily skin. Uh, and so this may not be a great test for uh, those of you with sensitive skin or naturally dry skin, but it is what it is. All right. So again, uh, three teaspoons was what was used. And this is an acid on its second use. Tons of lather still available like I showed you. And um, just super happy all the way around. It's terrific. And if you, even if you don't like the scent, um, I didn't really smell it too much while I was using it, so um, it might be worth a try. Also, if you're new um, to it, if you find it for $2 or less, that's a good price. Uh, last time I checked, Amazon had three pucks for $6, um, and so there you go. That's a good price. Anything less than that is an even better deal. Um, and uh, I think I, but there's a lot of inflated prices out there. So just be careful. Don't get suckered. Um, count. And if you're on, looking on eBay for some, make sure you look at the shipping. A lot of times it'll be a, it'll be a nice price, but then they'll add $15 for shipping out of the blue. So pay attention to that. All right. Um, also pay attention to which puck you're getting. If you can tell whether it's the old that has maybe a little bit more creaminess uh, mixed in with the formula. I don't know which attribute it is, what chemical it is or whatever, tallow or whatever. Um, but uh, the new one, and this was a new puck. This was a new puck, and so it did great. Uh, feeling a little bit of, uh, kind of, a little bit of tightness and uh, kind of the dryness uh, due to the soap. But to be honest, I don't really care if I feel too much of that because I pretty much always use a balm or some type of post-shave product anyway. And I, I know it's going to fix that. But I want to be forthright and uh, let you know kind of what you might be able to expect. Uh, so that is uh, four minutes of uh, kind of on the face time. I'm going to do some cleanup and still not apply anything. Come back to you in a little bit. Okay, we're looking at about six minutes post-shave. Uh, I've cleaned up about as much as I can because I wanted to show you the lather. Um, still not dissipating very much at all. So, you know, it's here to stay. It's good stuff. It's behaving just like pretty much any other lather does. All right, 
I'm going to wash this house now that I showed you. And uh, I'm good. That'll give a little bit more time uh, for the face to feel. Um, it does feel a little bit of tightness. Just like how you would feel after you've cleaned yourself with a good soap. Um, and what I mean a good soap, I mean an effective soap that maybe doesn't have as many uh, ingredients to soften your face and skin and stuff. But uh, like I said, most of the time I use a balm anyway. And who knows, maybe a little bit of witch hazel is enough to fix it. I don't know. So everything's cleaned up um, and not really any change. Sure, I do feel just a tiny bit of, uh, you know, agitation, like I mentioned. Um, maybe, a, you know, tightness or dryness to the skin, but, you know, and I do have oily skin, so I'm sure I could just head on out and not worry about it at all. Uh, but let's try the um, tonic from Thayer's. Uh, Alcohol-free, got a little aloe in it, unscented. Witch Hazel Tonic from Thayer's. Obviously, if you were to throw on a, a lotion-type balm that had various oils and or butters or whatever they have that help your skin to feel better, um, obviously those are going to help your skin out. But let's see if something simple will fix the, uh, uh, the feeling. All right. Um, so that... And when I applied it, I was looking at about 10 minutes post, uh, post dryness to the face. Um, so 10 minutes of post shave time. And uh, I'll give it a few more minutes. I'm already cleaned up, but uh, I'll uh, give it a few minutes and be back to you. All right, there we go. It's been about 12 minutes since I applied the Thayer's tonic with witch hazel. And that uh, probably fixed about 80% of the uh, very light uh, irritation and tightness that I was feeling. So if, at least if you have a skin type like me, uh, the Williams is not going to put a lot of hurting on you. Um, but obviously there are more, uh, there are other skin types that do need to take it, have consideration for. Um, and so you might want to hit up a balm or something like that. But I mean, I always do anyway. So there it is. If you are looking for a, a great slick soap that uh, you can also get cushion uh, for and thickness and density for just a couple of bucks to last you one month, then I think Williams is a great place to start. The, uh, the only difference, uh, the only procedure changes that I did was to pre-soak it for about eight to ten minutes and I only used uh, cool tap uh, water, um, just whatever came out of the, uh, the cold tap. Um, it wasn't even warm at all. And so uh, a little soak there with the soap. I came in with a only a damp brush uh, that had been soaked, but all the water had been shaken out of it really hard. Um, and I might recommend a 30 to 45 second load and then maybe uh, put in a little bit of water to it, and then maybe a 30 second load, and then you should be good to go. Uh, use it for a normal uh, from that point on. Uh, if you're a bold latherer, sorry, I'm not a face latherer. Maybe I'll try that out tomorrow, but um, I'm not a good face latherer yet because I just like the bowl. Anyway, here you go. If you want Creamy Williams, that's, how, that's one way to do it. Take care. Have a good night.